What is up, guys? Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm about to get into it right now real quick. Um, if you guys know anything about me, Daredevil has always been my favorite character. Um, I just like him. He's, you know, basically his superpower is that he is a blind guy that can see, but, uh, and administer really bad beatings. The guy's awesome. He's a character who's had such a great and fantastic run throughout the years. And uh, if you trace it back, it's been, you know, a great run, uh, except for Shadowland, which you could skip that and don't even worry about him. But if uh, somebody were to tell me, hey, I really like the character, where should I start? Where should I pick up the books? Right there. This is The Daredevil by Frank Miller Omnibus. This is uh, the new edition that came out. This is the reprint. And the only difference really is that this edition comes with nothing really. It's just smaller. Pr uh, the pages are smaller. Uh, some people are complaining that, you know, the pages are smaller. It's a thinner book. It's not a thick, it's not as rugged of a page. I personally don't have a problem with it. Marvel's been printing out thinner paper lately. If you've seen the Hickman Omnibus for Fantastic Four, that one's a little bit too thin to the point where the image is see-through. Yeah, it's not that great. But the this omnibus, it's great for what it is. Um, you're getting basically Frank Miller's entire run. It collects Daredevil 158 through 161 and 163 through 191 and a What If issue number 28. Uh, this is great if you know anything about Frank Miller. This is really, 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 really where Frank Miller blew up, which uh, then it led to books like Sin City and you know 300 and things like that. This is really where he cut his teeth on the character. Um, <clears throat> some say that nobody has ever written Daredevil as good as Frank Miller has. I am of the opinion that Bendis topped him in his run and Brubaker was behind Frank Miller. So if I were to say, I'd say I'd rank Bendis, not by much, because Miller, Miller really redefined the character. Bendis, Bru no, Bendis, Miller, Brubaker and then Wade because Wade's run so far isn't as long as the other ones but Wade is really killing it he's doing a great job right now um, like I said Daredevil great great character basically it tells the story of Matt Murdock you know he was a kid he got blinded his old man he was a boxer he ended up dying uh, he seeks out revenge every night he wants justice for everything that's pretty much the gist of it this does not tell the first you know, origin of, Dare, of Daredevil or anything like that, but it's very accessible. You can jump into this, and you're getting great stories. You're getting the first appearance of Elektra in here. So if you're a fan of Elektra, her first appearance is in here. Uh, pretty much the redefining characteristics of Bullseye and Kingpin are both in here. What makes the characters what they are today, you'll find it in this run right here. Great on us, uh, you get a great introduction, uh, you know, some extras in the back, like, you know, some black and white sketches, commentary, things like that. A uh, pretty sturdy book, I would recommend it to anybody, really. Um, I know some people have been complaining, you know, that the coloring isn't the greatest on this one, because this is the redone coloring. This isn't the old stuff, this is the touched up stuff. And while it's not as good as the impressive Walter Simonson coloring, I personally didn't have a problem with it. I thought it worked for what it is. And uh, you're definitely not going to... I don't see really like all the other like top aficionados of Omnibus, I guess is what you would call them. They didn't like it too much. Personally, I could tell the art. I think it looks fine. The coloring is not smudged or anything like that or anything too bad. Um, I enjoyed the run reading it like this. And if you take off the dust jacket, which I like this better. I think that is awesome if you take off the dust jacket and have that there. I'm not a fan of the dust jacket. Um, but yeah, so like I said, if you're looking to get into the character, this will run you about 60 bucks on Amazon. Can't go wrong with it. It's a defining, defining book for them. And yeah, pick it up. This is very much what Frank Miller did. He took... Daredevil from this superheroic, you know, do-gooder kind of like Zorro, and turned it into a gritty crime story, which is really the basis for where Bendis took his run, and you know he ran with it and just did great. 
if you're after you finish this, if you're looking for something great, uh, you could skip the other years. You're not going to be missing too much. Um, you know, I know what was his name, Kevin Smith. I know he did a run that was touted as really good as well. You pick those up, and then you could go right into Bendis, who he mines a lot of the past, and he does a great job with it. And then go to Brubaker, skip Shadowland. After Brubaker, skip Shadowland, jump into Mark Wade, and you'll have a great time. My favorite character. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Bye.